Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a demonstration how-to on this car wash cannon from Amazon. So there's several of these on Amazon. They usually range, this is one of the cheaper ones for 20 bucks. They can go up to about $30, $40. So this is everything you get in the box. Make sure this siphon tube is connected. It does come out. So make sure that's in there like that. You're gonna put your concentrated soap in here. And then this just screws on. It's got a dial. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So five is the most soap it'll mix with the water. So this nozzle's gonna, it's in the box. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you put it on. There's kind of like some grooves for it to fit into. Make sure it's like flush like that. Like it's straight like that. And then this is a quick disconnect here for the hose. Now this is what you're going to screw onto your garden hose. The water's going to go in. This is like a normal hose. And then this is a quick disconnect. You're going to push this back and it'll go on there and then push it forward. see how it's locked on there and then we're gonna when we pull the trigger we'll get foam coming out of there now it did come with this goes here but you have to have that certain style of disconnect which I don't have so I'm just gonna screw my garden hose right into there it did come with this little plastic piece I'm not sure what it's for it I think it might go here something like that so here's where it talks about the flows. So with if you got it on zero, it's not going to suck up any uh, concentrated soap. But if you got it on one, it's 100 to one. Two is 40 to one. Three is 30 to one. Four is 20 to one. And five is 10 to one. So again, we're going to put our concentrated car wash in here. And when we pull the trigger, it's going to mix just regular water with the concentrated to give us some foam. Now, not all soaps foam. So to get it to look like the pictures on the on the box we're gonna have to use probably some different kind of soap because I've used some soap and it doesn't work very well so you want to get high sudsy soap so they do sell specific uh, car wash solutions for these that produce a lot of soap suds um, I don't have that but I've got some that we're gonna try so really for me the only weak point I found was this little black rubber ring doesn't quite it's kind of moving, but it's working okay with the with the disconnect. But we're going to take this out and try it out on my truck. Okay, so something... So it's got this soap line on here. So you're not going to fill this up with completely... I was under the assumption that you're going to fill this with concentrated all the way. You're going to fill the concentrated up to here. And then you're going to fill it with 32 ounces of water. So we're only going to put concentrated soap up to here. And then we're going to fill the rest up with water. So this is strictly just a soap cannon or, you know, it's not going to clean your car for you. You're still going to have to uh, scrub it to get the dirt off and everything. You're not just going to spray on, rinse off and amazing. You know, I just don't see that happening, but it is a good way to get your uh, soap suds onto the car. Okay, so here I've got my truck. It needs a good wash. You can see how it's got some kind of road grime on it and stuff. Um, but we're going to get, we're going to try this out. Now you should never wash your truck or vehicle in direct sunlight either. It's a pretty hot day. Um, I don't have a shade tree, but I am going to try to wash it like this. So here's this turtle wax. I've been using this for a long time. Um, I want something that's going to leave a little bit of a shine on it too. I just bought this Mother's. Now this is a really nice wash, but it doesn't suds very much. But man, does it leave a nice shiny coat on your vehicle when it's all said and done. But let's let's first try the turtle wax okay so I've got my jar I unscrewed it from there again it's got that line so I'm gonna take this turtle wax I'm gonna fill it up to the line maybe go a little bit more there you go then I'm gonna finish the rest of that with water now you want to run the water in nice and slow so it doesn't suds up on you a bunch otherwise you'll just lose a bunch of the soap to suds about there all 
Okay, so here we've got the, it's full of water now. We filled it up to the soap line. You're simply just gonna turn this on and it'll get nice and tight. So there, it's nice and tight. Now I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna connect this to my hose. I'm gonna set this on three. We'll, we'll try all different settings. Again, you don't want, zero is no soap. That means it's not gonna suck up any soap and combine it with the water. So let's, let's start off with three and see what it does. Okay, so I unscrewed my, this is what I normally wash my truck with. I've got this little quarter turn valve here. Um, now make sure there is a O-ring, there is a war, like a standard garden hose washer in there. Make sure that's there. And then you're just gonna screw this on to the end of your garden hose. Okay, I've got it screwed on, I got it opened up. Now you can have water just come out of this if you spray it. And I can adjust this, and this, this little lever here will lock it so I don't have to hold it down. Okay, so I've got this connected to my garden, to the garden hose, and it's connected to the car wash cannon. So let's give it a try. Not bad, not bad. You can see there, we're using quite a bit of the soap. Let's try it on. Let's go all the way to five. This is maximum soap. Okay, I can definitely tell that it's definitely putting on a lot more soap. Yeah. But it's also gonna drain the cannon quicker too. So I'm probably spraying on way too much, but I just wanna demonstrate this. Let's go go all the way to one let's go over here I haven't done much here yeah you can definitely tell it's a lot less soap you still get some soap but a lot less soap so I did half my car so three or four seems to be about the right again is this just, they claim that you can just rinse this and it'll be all done, but we'll see. Now I disconnected that and we could use this, we could use this also to rinse, rinse the truck. Okay, so I haven't scrubbed it or anything. I just rinsed it off. Now, of course, it looks really good when it's wet, but we still got, you know, it did take, I think it did take some of that road grime off. I'm very surprised. I, I actually wasn't expecting it to take that much off, but there's still quite a bit of that grime on. Here comes Fiona. Okay, so what I recommend, if you want to use this uh, cannon, car wash cannon, you're still going to need something to wash your truck. So have a bucket with some of the soap in there and use that mainly as an applicator of your soap. So you can suds your whole vehicle and then when it's all nice and sudsy, you can come up here and then you're still gonna have to scrub it because you gotta scrub it to get that kind of that road grime off. And then when you rinse it, it'll be really good. Okay, so I've let it dry and I hope you can see. So here is where I just used the spray foam cannon. It's still got kind of that road grime and here's where I um scrubbed it with that brush and again here i still got some of that road grime on there you can see it more here so you do actually have to get a uh and scrub it okay so the other the other side of the truck i'm gonna i'm gonna show you this mother's ceramic wash and coat this is a little bit more expensive than the zip wax so i've got i've got the concentrated in there already and i'm gonna go fill this up with water Okay, so again, I've got that mother's in here. I've got it on four. So see how not all soaps suds. This one does not suds hardly at all. It's a really good wash. I like the wax in it, but it just doesn't suds up. And I've got that on four. So let's, let's go to five. Yeah, 
it's just not sudsing at all. Maybe a little bit. So make sure you buy the right kind of soap. But mainly I'm going to use this as a soap applicator. Uh, you can get your soap on there and then go and wash it with a bucket. So is it really worth it? I'm not quite sure. You can pretty much do what I'm doing with a bucket. But it is kind of neat to, to shoot it on there with a, with a hose and get good coverage, I guess. But it's definitely not going to wipe away the, the grime and the, the stuff. So again, car wash cannon. Um, I'm sure these are all pretty much about the same. Um, check out my next video. I'm going to go to an actual car wash. I'm going to show you how to use a car wash. So I know when I started using a, a car wash where you get out and use the spray wand, it was a little confusing to me at first, but I'm going to show you how I do it, and I've gotten pretty good results from it. Um, so check out my next video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll put a link to this in the show description. You can buy this on Amazon for 20 bucks. It seems very well built. Um, just keep in mind it's not going to wash the car for you like it says thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe